everyone welcome back to the channel here so i'm actually making this intro like three weeks after the coating has been applied to my brother's truck uh, the reason i'm making the intro so late is because i wanted to get some more information as far as the coating uh, from nate and so i kind of want to do that plus i want to do a brand over video and uh, i again i couldn't make the intro while i was at my brother's place because he was talking too much and i just couldn't get uh, real good footage so I just took random B-roll with my phone at that time and I voiced, voiced over the the following uh, parts coming up. And I tried to capture the UV tracer. Again, it was hard to capture it in his garage. Uh, don't worry about it. I actually showcased the UV tracer uh, using the Jade Sapphire coating and I'll showcase it using other coatings from the Jade lineup. So I just kind of want to mention that. And so the project was to uh, apply a coating to my brother's truck. Uh, that was the last thing on his checklist after he did all these uh, suspension modifications, brake modifications, he put a tune on there. So we did all that stuff together. We changed out the exhaust on there. And so the last thing on his checklist was to polish and ceramic coat or graphene coat in this, in this case, uh, his truck. Uh, again, this is new to him. He bought it used in, uh, I think in June or July. I think it was roughly around that time frame for him. So he's had it for a few months already. Um, so, I, this truck actually could have benefited from a two-step correction, compound and polish. So I asked him, how far do you want to go with this? Uh, he says all he wanted was his truck to look shiny. And because it's his daily driver, he doesn't care if it's 100% uh, defect free or 90% defect free. So I opted to go with the Dr. Beezy's NSP95. Uh, and then I just put the coating over that. And in this instance, I used the Jade Obsidian uh, Graphene Pro Ceramic Coating. And so now I have more information for you guys. Uh, as to this coating here and so I want to get that uh, information to you guys uh, so that you guys can actually determine if you want to use this coating. Actually I'd recommend people to try this coating and see if it's, it's if, it, if you like it or not. So I, actually I'm, I'm familiar with the Jade um, lineup of coatings. Again this is the professional side of things where Adams is and I have the Adams advanced coating here where Adams is for the consumer here. Now Obsidian evolved from Jade Graphene Pro uh, and I think it's been about two and a half, maybe three years, I believe, uh, since this product came out and then it evolved to this because this was uh, reformulated at the beginning of 2023, maybe late 2022. I want to say roughly in that time frame. So again, this is the evolution of this. This coating was good when I tried it. Uh, I have a video on it. I'll post the card. You guys can watch it if you like. Uh, pretty standard application for this. Uh, I had no problems with it. I think it I tested it for a year. It performed really well. And so I, I think people didn't really grasp that Jade was a, a good coating brand or a good brand to look into for coatings. Uh, the reason I bought this one is because this one didn't have the UV tracer in it. So it's, I don't know the percentage here. So it it's a, has a percentage of solvent and a percentage of active ingredients. So that's why I chose to go with this at the time because when you introduce the UV tracer like what these have, that takes up some of the formulation in there. So you have UV tracer, solvent, and active ingredient. So I kind of just want to mention that. So the other thing that people are going to ask is, is Obsidian, uh, actually, let me take that back. Is advanced graphene coating from Atoms the same as Obsidian? And the answer is no. They share the similar base chemistry, uh, but this is designed to have more solids in it. And actually the application for me was a lot different between the two products. Uh, this one actually felt smoother to, to work with than this, even though they, they state that uh, this is supposed to be more user-friendly. So that's just my experience with it. Uh, this is definitely more user-friendly than this. So again, this has more solids than the advanced one. Again, this is no longer available uh, to purchase. So with that said, um, we'll get to the video here. Again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions on the Jade Obsidian Coating, go ahead and post down below. I will eventually get a first wash video uh, with it. Um, it's been raining here the last couple days, and so I will get a wash video just to kind of show what the beating looks like on the truck. Um, and uh, I'll just shoot some random footage and then I'll post up a follow-up video for the first wash of Jade Obsidian. Um, so again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any comments or questions on this, uh, oh, one last thing before I get this is a reduced graphene oxide coating. I know it says graphene. People get really weird as soon as graphene is mentioned because they say there's no such thing as a real graphene coating. Again, just calm down, people. There's no way to get real graphene into a coating, at least just yet. 
Thus they use reduced graphene oxide, RGO, in the chemistry. Uh, graphene just sounds better than a reduced graphene coating, right? Uh, so that's why they just went with graphene. So again, don't really, don't freak out, don't focus too much on that. Uh, again, thanks for watching. And again, I hope the UV tracer comes forward because uh, if I shine the light here, you can actually see what the UV tracer looks like when I shine the UV light through there. So again, thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or questions on the coating, go ahead and post down below. And again, thanks for watching. All right, everyone. And so we're going to go ahead and get to the application portion for the Jade Obsidian coating here. So I've already been using the applicator for most of the truck here. So I'm actually just applying just a little bit of more coating onto the surface, again, because the applicator is already primed at this point. And so I'm using an auto fiber applicator, the coating saver style. And I'm just gonna apply it to the vehicle here, on the, or at least on the door. We're gonna do half the door here just to showcase this because I wanna show you the UV tracer that's built into it. So you can just, you know, just apply it, cross hatch pattern, circles, whatever you wanna do. So in this instance, I'm using the cross hatch pattern, up and down, left and right. Again, nothing too different from any other coating. And again, just get it onto the surface here. And so again, I'm doing half the door at this point. And I'm also going to get underneath the door handle because you don't want to miss that area as well. So just work it in. And then we're going to let this coating set up and flash. Now, if you don't have a UV light to see the UV tracer, then you're just going to witness that the coating will have a slight rainbow effect, but it'll start showing the, the sweating effect on the surface. And so I try to capture the, the, that portion, but it was a little harder to do it. So this part, I'm using the UV light. The picture will show the UV tracer on the left-hand side versus the right-hand side. Don't worry, I have better videos coming up with the UV tracer, but this has the UV tracer technology built into it because it's a BNB blended product, which also makes the Atoms coating. So I'm just playing around with the UV tracer here to kind of see if I can see it. And the UV tracer is in there to just to see if you've missed a spot. Now, Atoms also has this scan grip style light, which has different color temperatures, but also has a built-in UV light feature in there. Now, because of the conditions, because the lights were on, it kind of washed out the this light and it didn't really encompass its power to show the UV tracer. So if the room was darker, you would be able to see it with this, this flashlight. And again, I bought this just to kind of test it out, see if it's worth it. Um, when I'm doing my Camaro here pretty soon with another Jade coating, you can actually put this to good use if you turn the lights off in the garage. So next we're gonna go ahead and just show the flashing of it. So I did, I was able to capture it in this view, view coming up here where you can see it sweating in the light there. Right where I'm pointing right there. So do this sweating effect as it starts to set up. Again, it was difficult to capture it here. So it's hard to see on this, on this portion. Um, and you really at that point, you can actually wipe off the coating, but I, one other tip with the jade coatings that you'll see, you'll see me doing here is um, using my finger to make sure that it's ready to be leveled off. So I'm just using the light, kind of playing around with this. And you can actually see the coating separator there under the UV light. And that's what you're going to see as it starts to doing the sweating effect here. So it does both. And the sweating effect for me is a better visual indication than a rainbow. So again, with the jade coatings, you just touch it. I do this with every coating. If I'm not pushing coating around, then I'm ready to wipe this off. So that's one tip. And so I'm ready to wipe it off. And when you first wipe it off, you're going to feel a little bit of drag on your towel. But once you break through the coating that's there, then it's going to feel a lot slicker and a lot smoother. And the coating will start to get a little slicker as the coating cures. So again, the first towel is your initial wipe. Don't forget underneath the door handle or you're going to end up with a high spot. And I'm using a two-faced light towel, uh, two of them. And then I come back with a secondary towel and I just wipe off to make sure I don't have any excess product and end up with any high spots. So this is basically an insurance wipe, pretty straightforward in terms of application and wipe off. That's one thing I like about the Jade coatings is they're relatively easy to use and plus they leave a nice slickness when, you, when you're getting ready to wipe it off, or actually when you wipe it off. So you go, just wipe it off. And then I take out the scan grip light version again with the UV tracer. Again, just kind of playing around with the UV tracer. I think it's a cool technique here cool technology in order to see whether or not you have any missed areas. And that's what the UV tracer is in there for, just to make sure you have even coverage. So again, I was just playing around with it. I think it's a cool feature. Um, that's one of the features that's built into these coatings, and, and I kind of like that feature. 
So again, just kind of visually inspecting it. In person, it's a lot easier to see because the camera doesn't really pick up the color that it changes to when you're trying to show the UV tracer. So again, just kind of playing around with this. And hopefully this gives you a better representation of the UV tracer on the left-hand side. So I was able to capture it. And this is the final walk around of the truck after it's been polished and coated and it has really glossy. It's ready to go. And the truck came out great. So it could have used a two-step correction, but a one-step polish just to enhance the gloss and the shine of it and then just topping it with a coating. That's all my brother wanted with this truck and it came out really good. Very user-friendly. That 60 mils goes a long way. I still had a little bit left and uh, his truck was looking good at the time. This coating's been on there for three weeks at this point, and so I made this video a little later. I voiced over it later, and again, it's ready for uh, the first wash coming up, which I will showcase pretty soon to follow up on the hydrophobics of this coating, but the hydrophobics are really good. So that's pretty much it, guys. Final walk around. The truck looks great. My brother's happy with the look. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Take care.